Yo, what is good, everybody? Welcome back to another Minimal Mondays. For today's video, we've got a very, very special one planned as we are about to take a look at one of the most hyped sneakers for 2024, and that is none other than the Jordan 4 Military Blue. This Jordan 4 in particular has received a ton of positive reception and quite a bit of anticipation due to the fact that it has been rumored to release for quite a bit of time now, and the last time we actually saw it was all the way back in 2012. For the purposes of today's video, we're gonna talk release date, we're gonna talk about sizing, we're gonna see these shoes on toe, and of course, we're gonna break this shoe down in detail get you ready for when they ultimately release. With that being said, if you do enjoy this style of content where we bring in early sneakers, please be sure to communicate that to us by liking today's video and subscribing to the channel with notifications on. That is going to be the best way to let us know to keep this style of content coming, keep investing in the early sneakers. And if you are subscribed, be sure to turn on notifications because we're gonna do a series around these shoes because it is so early prior to release that we're gonna have plenty of time to do plenty of styling videos you can see them with a myriad of different styles of outfits and bottoms to come to the conclusion on whether or not this shoe is worthy of your rotation. With that being said, to go ahead and start things off for the Jordan 4 Military Blue, they are set to release May 4th at a retail price of $215. They will be releasing in the full size range, that being adult, grade school, preschool, as well as toddler. As entailed in the name, the Jordan 4 Military Blue is Michael Jordan's fourth official signature shoe designed by the man himself, Tinker Hatfield, and was so well received by the general public due to the fact that at the time, there was no sneaker that looked quite like this. For this rendition of the Jordan 4, namely the 2024 Military Blue, Jordan Brand is bringing to us the newest and updated silhouette of the Jordan 4, which does feature a bit more of a more streamlined, slim profile with more sleek details, such as the mudguard. Speaking of the mudguard, it is comprised of a soft nubuck leather in this light gray tone. For the base layer, we do have a white leather but it does feature a slight and subtle hue of gray. It's very, very distinct. Once you have the shoe in hand, you'll be able to tell that this isn't a pure white leather shoe, but rather uh, a white with a subtle, subtle hit of gray. Of course, as we've seen time and time again with the Jordan 4, we do have the iconic detailing, such as the rubber netting that does sit atop this blue mesh. We have the blue eye stays with the matching blue heel counter. There we get the iconic Nike Air logo, which I know is something casuals as well well, sneaker enthusiasts will really appreciate. With the Jordan 4 Military Blue, we do get matching tonal laces. They actually match perfectly to that of the leather, which do feature that slightly gray hue, which is embellished with the Jumpman Flight logo. As seen as standard protocol for the Jordan 4, we have a standard midsole outsole, that being an encapsulated air sole unit at the forefoot, as well as an air sole unit here for the heel, which is exposed through the little window. Same thing for the outsole, just a standard Jordan 4 outsole, with a multi-directional herringbone traction pattern, and you do have little stars there, as we've seen with all Jordan 4s. Now, as it relates to sizing, I do recommend taking your true-to-size size in the Jordan 4. For me personally, I do take anywhere from an eight and a half to a nine. These are a nine, and I find that they fit perfect. With that being said, that is going to do it for the early look around the Jordan 4 Military Blue 2024. We'd be interested in hearing what you guys think down below about this sneaker. Do you plan on picking it up or is it an easy skip? If you haven't decided just yet, it would be a great idea for you to subscribe to the channel because we will be styling the shoe, which we will be rolling out in the next few weeks. As always, we'd like to thank you so much for stopping by the channel and for the continued support. We really do appreciate the minimal community so much. And until next upload, I will see you again next week for another Minimal Mondays.